Today we're going to be setting up proxy servers with social bookmarking daemon. We're going to start at the bestproxyandvpn.com website and we're going to purchase our package of proxies. Once we purchase them, we're going to come here into the control panel. We're going to log in using our username and password and that will bring us to the control panel so we'll have access to see our proxies. They're going to list them in the format of IP address colon port. What you want to do is you want to highlight that whole list and use a control C on the keyboard to copy them to your clipboard. Once those are copied, we're going to head on over to Social Bookmarking Daemon. Under the dashboard, you're going to choose Preferences. Under Preferences, you're going to choose Connection. Under Connection, you're going to choose Let Me Define My Own Proxy Server. Now you're going to put your cursor right here in the white box, and you're going to hit Control V on the keyboard to paste them. So here's, these are the proxies we got from the website. Now these are not actual proxies, so don't try to use these, but this is the same format that your proxies will be in. Now in order to use them in Social Bookmarking Daemon, what we have to do is we have to add our username and password to the front of each proxy. So now again, this is the username and password at bestproxyandvpn.com. This is not your username and password for Social Bookmarking Daemon. So if my username at bestvpn, uh, bestproxyandvpn.com is Joe Smith, I'm going to type it in like that, and if my password at bestproxyandvpn.com is 12345, I'm going to type it in just like that. I'm going to use the at key to separate them, and that's the format that we need in order to make these functional in Social Bookmarking Daemon. Now we need to do that for all the rest of our uh, IP addresses here, so all we're going to do is we're going to highlight this, hit the control C button, and come down in front of each one, hit the control V to paste. There we go, now they're all set up correctly. We can hit the start proxy server health check if we want, and it'll let us know that all the proxies are working correctly. And then when we're finished, we simply hit the OK button. Now every time we do anything with the social bookmarking daemon software, it'll be using the proxies we purchased from bestproxyandvpn.com, and our own IP address will be hidden.